Right nerds, how's things? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Advanced Combat Tracker, the Final Fantasy XIV parsing plugin with Rainbow Mage. Now a lot of people still have problems setting this piece of shit up and after I got my new computer there I had to do it myself again and as I was doing it I was like, just thinking, you know what, fuck it. I make a video on how I done it and how I got it working. So first things first, you want to go to advancedcombattracker.com, go to the download page and get the zip archive. For this you will need like an uh, unzipping program like WinRAR or my personal favourite is 7-Zip. So I use 7-Zip, so get this archive right here and get 7-Zip. Next, just search YouTube for uh, Zeno's video on Rainbow Wage because he has a great file pre-made called the Full Streamer DX11. And we'll just close that. And it's this file here. This is a zip file. So you want to download this as well. Next, you will go to your folder and you will receive an SET folder. So you just unzip that, which will give you this. Take the full streamer folder that you got from Xeno, which is this one. And place it inside and unzip that one too. So inside you should have all of this and the full streamer DX11. Next, run Advanced Combat Tracker. This one here, 1872 kilobytes. This is the one you want to use. Right click it, properties, and make sure you set it so it runs as administrator because if you don't set it to run as administrator, it will not work. So we're going to launch this. On your first time setting it up, you will have the startup wizard. Select portion plugin. I already have it set up, so just ignore that message. You will not get that. When you select portion plugin, what you want to do is you want to say get available portion plugin. So click that and just wait a few seconds while it loads. And it should automatically detect the Final Fantasy XIV plugin. Which is this one here, 66 portion plugin. So you click use this plugin, then you hit next. Portion has been applied. So just click next, sorry. Will SCT be used for EverQuest? No, it will not. So just hit no. Please manually select your game log file. Okay. And just cancel that because we're not actually going to use that. Once you've done that, close the box. Now, Head over to plugins. Over here you will see Final Fantasy XIV SCT plugin.dll, but we need to add the Rainbow Mage overlay, which is this one. So to get that, we select Browse, head into the Full Streamer DX11 folder that you unzipped earlier, and go down to the bottom where it says Overlay Plugin.dll and hit Open. Once opened, both these should be initialized and started. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to the overlay plugin.dll and go to the sub tab mini parse. Show overlay. You want to, whenever you're moving it for the first time, you want to select enable click through. This allows you to. Oh, sorry, you want to disable that. <laughs> I already had it set. Um, yes, yeah, so you want to. If you disable this box, you can no longer click through it. So you can move it about and place it wherever you want. I like to place it over on the right hand side. And. When you are moving it, try to move it on a white background so you can see this wee corner down here. That is the corner that allows you to resize on how long or short the box is. Once you're satisfied where you want to put the box, enable click through and now you can no longer click through it, no matter what window you're on, which is obviously needed once you're inside the game. This box here, the URL, this is a which type of layout you want your, your portion to have. I like having mine with like different colors for, I'll show you here. So obviously if I'm a tank it'll be blue and it'll say my name, DPS, crit, whatever. But there are a lot of different patterns that you can use and different styles. So go through the wee list and find out which one's best for you. 
To do that, you click this triple dot and go to resources. And all of these ones here, these mini parse ones, these are all different types of parsing layouts and standards that you use. I have made a custom one myself, which is based on this one, the glow icon graph. I simply opened it in notepad and removed a few things that I didn't want. So that's the one that I use here. It's my own personal one. Spell timer. Make sure you uncheck show overlay because you won't need this. This is not required. And again, for many parts, just make sure that it is shown so you can see it. And that is everything for the overlay plugin.dll. Next tab, Final Fantasy 14 settings. Make sure this box is unchecked. We'll sort that out later through Windows Firewall. So just leave that as it is now, unchecked. This one unchecked. Combine pets with owners so summoners actually get their correct DPS parsed. And that's all you need to do on this page. Next one, overlay settings. Hide overlay for all four of these because these refer to the original parser that had the crappy black box that you've seen when you first installed the program. We don't want to see that because it's not required. Now over in the options section, because that's the actual parser itself set up. Over in the actual options section, you can change a few things and how things work, whatever. Uh, the main ones you want to be looking at is encounter calling. And this in here, it's under general. Main, main table encounters, general. Number of seconds to wait after the last combat action to begin a new counter. You can set this to whatever you want. I like to have it at 30, so it doesn't reset if like, a boss jumps for a few seconds, whatever. Otherwise, it will disrupt your fight. So 30 seconds needs to be a round number. Feel free to extend it or shorten it, depending on your setup. And the only other one I really use is near the bottom, under data correction, click miscellaneous. And at the very top, if you type in your character name, this is what will show as you in the actual parser. Most people just leave this as you itself, but I like to say what my name is. Because no one's just like, I just don't want to see you coming up, because that could be anybody. The only problem with this is, is obviously if you're working with an... Uh, an alt character, I mean, it'll still say this, but whatever. That is the initial setup of Advanced Combat Tracker. The one last thing you need to do to get this to work is to click Start, type in Windows Firewall, add allow program. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> allow a program or feature through Windows Firewalls. So you want to click this one. Obviously you will have nothing here, so you want to say allow another program. And you want to browse. And you want to select this one here. The Advanced Combat Tracker, 1872 kilobytes, the one that you are using to run the program. Click open, and that will allow that to be passed through your firewall, which will allow you to get correct parses. And that's it. That should be your parser up and running. So we can just minimize this and hopefully that's it. Hopefully your parser is running smoothly and you can get some fucking good damage fucking recorded. And best of all, you can see the scrubs. Because that's what it's all really used for. <laughs> no, it's really not. Fuck you, Yoshi. Anyway, that's it set up. Uh, have fun, guys. Catch you in the next video.